Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream, and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Season of Arrivals Intel. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through a really great time glitch for the zero hour heroic mission. This is going to let you cut down quite a bit on that 20 minute time frame that you have to actually complete this in order to get the outbreak perfected catalyst. And if you're like me, any tips in this particular mission will help because this one, though it is very well designed, is a real pain and is the bane of my existence, as well as many members of the uh, group that I mostly game with, Iron Lords Podcast. They're always having issues with this, and I finally just decided to knuckle down and really think, well, if I was doing this by myself and I didn't have a big shout out to my buddy Sinister to carry me through, what would be the absolute best way to go about traversing this entire mission in the fastest time? So I'm going to take you through my entire adventure into this in just one second. But first, I just want to remind everybody, I'm still doing the giveaway on my YouTube channel. The next one will be at 30,000 subscribers. All you have to do to be entered into that giveaway is like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the notifications, the bell that's right next to the big red subscribe button, and follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. And as always, if you stick around until the end of the video, I'll have a secret hashtag or sometimes I'll do a trivia question. You can leave the answer or the hashtag in the comments section to be entered into that giveaway a second time for this video. And remember, those hashtags or those secret trivia question answers, they stack between all videos so if you haven't done on a previous piece of content on this channel go back check out another video and of course do it again and hey while you're also in the description box why not check out the discord community it's actually expanded quite a bit for this channel it surprises me all the time new people in there all the time willing to help out beginners as well as just looking for people to play with so join up you might be want to game with me sometime I'm usually in the channel always free for someone to hit me up if you want to get some games going. But all right, let's get back into the zero hour. So if you're doing this normally, this really isn't going to help you. You can, of course, do certain parts of this, but the zero hour normally is easy enough, I think, at this point, where most people can just traverse through it the normal way. But for the heroic, where we have this pesky 20 minute time frame, and a lot of it's going to come down to being able to clear out the ads, but also make your way through the maze, which is quite extensive. It's a real labyrinth. This is going to come in really handy. Now, you can do this solo. However, you will require a group to do it properly. But the glitch is actually best done by one person. At the very most, two people. But I have a feeling that two people trying to do this is really going to run you into quite a bit of problems that wouldn't really help you in the long run. But essentially what you're gonna do is bypass all the ads till you get to this barrier. Then you're gonna make your way under this barrier and find this little ledge, jump up onto this gantry and essentially make your way out of the map. Once you're here, jump up and you'll see this little underhang over that and you'll hit a new load zone for the tower hangar. Move to the right through this little gantry and through this little passageway and you'll make your way into the next area which is the tower watch. Now we've already saved quite a bit of time. Of course I had to do this solo so I did lose a little bit of time taking out that one first section of ads because I can't seem to get around that. Once you're here make your way up onto this corner where you see the sort of rocks piled up and there's actually a little ledge above that you can use to traverse back into the map and onto this gantry. You're gonna need a sword and you're gonna need to time the jump, but with a little bit of practice, you can get through there fairly quick. It's not that difficult. The rest of this, you're just gonna do normally. The great benefit to this is that you could send one or maybe even two people through while the other two people or one person stays back and clears out the ads. Now, of course, you won't actually get the boss at the very end until those ads are cleared out. But when they are, if you have a player already there, you're gonna be able to immediately start to do damage to the boss. So this could help you save down or save a lot of time in the whole going to the boss and hoping that you have enough time to beat him at the end. I'm sure that a good team with a good carry could get through this and defeat the boss at the end. But one person without a lot of time, and that's usually what seems to happen when I'm doing this with my group, that our 
Kerry, the guy who's always helping us through, again, big shout out to Sinister, always seems to get to the boss first because he's great at getting through this jumping puzzle. And that's not easy. It's really not. You're going to lose quite a bit of time. At least one person is going to die more than once while getting through this maze. And even if you have someone who's really proficient at it, that person will still die at least once getting through it. And then you might have, at the very most, three minutes at the very end to actually defeat the boss. And sometimes it's only one person there while the other two people are playing catch up. So this way, you can not only send somebody through to get a head start, but also the great benefit to this, and I actually think this goes understated, is that you can use this glitch to get into the rest of the labyrinth and actually practice this whole jumping puzzle. And it is a great thing to practice because if you don't, and you don't know where you're going, you're really gonna waste a lot of time. But a few runs through without having to really worry about the time frame on your own, you're not having to have a group to go with through with you because you don't have to clear out any of the ads, you can get a lot better at actually just traversing through it. And that's gonna be important, especially when you do do this with a group because you're gonna want as many people through at the very end, unless, of course, you can provide them with that much longer time frame that would come if you sent somebody through ahead and everybody else just stayed behind, cleared out all the ads, and then tried to join up. Though you might not need to. I really do think if you could get two people through that glitch, uh, you actually would have the best chance because you'll essentially just bypass the major slow up parts. The only other part that's really going to slow you up, not just the jumping that is, is the part where we have to defeat the robot a lot of people call Freddy, or at least my group calls him Freddy. I don't know if that's what everybody calls him, uh, Freddy Krueger. I'm guessing that's what it's referring to. I actually kind of was late to the game on picking up the lingo for the zero hour mission, but the robot that comes through the halls and kills you. I do have a great path that um, I'll show you for that. So if you've never actually done this and you just want to know how to actually get through in a good period of time, that's really what the rest of this gameplay is going to be. We've made our way through the glitch and now I'm just going to let you watch some raw gameplay while I talk to you about a couple other things, but essentially that's it. We're just going to show you, of course, the all the buttons you need to press for Freddy, um, and there is a fairly easy way to make that a little bit simpler, which involves cutting through the middle. But I'm just going to let the gameplay play out now, guys. Follow this if you just are new to the Zero Hour mission and you just want to get the outbreak perfected, or if you're going for the catalyst. In either case, this will help you just sort of figure out the best route. But beyond that, I hopefully this helps everybody get through this a little bit faster and have more time at the boss. Stay tuned to the end for that secret trivia question. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you then.
Thanks for watching all the way till the end. And interestingly enough, at the end, there's this sort of weird cat and we are gonna be getting the European Aerial Zone back very shortly this coming week. And many of you may remember from last year, there was a weird little area that you could glitch into underneath the map that is the European Aerial Zone. And there was a cat statue identical to that uh, in that little area. So weird little connection there, maybe Easter egg. But for today's secret hashtag, I think I said trivia question. We could do a hashtag or a trivia question. Maybe a trivia question that's answer is a hashtag. Uh, leave a... Hmm. Leave a hashtag uh, of the... Well, let's do a hashtag of whatever your favorite horror film like villain is because of course we have Freddy in this one you know he's he's like the zero hour boogeyman so leave one of those guys who's your favorite is it Freddy is it Jason is it Michael leave one of those down below or you know any other comment that you can think of relevant to this video maybe or some other fun stuff just a fun thing today as always, I am Wilhelm Scream. Thank you all so much for watching, and of course, we will see you in the next video.